It's like 5 a.m. right now. The northern lights just to starboard say close the Mackinac City Bridge. It's a good day on Lake Michigan, at least a good morning. <laughs> Lake Michigan is a separate beast. Cause Not eating anything today. I was a little nervous. No, this is the little but mighty bridge walk. There's a lot of pride here. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning. Good morning. It's been eight days since we last checked in with y'all. We are still at Mackinac City and I've had just terrible weather here, but a lot of good memories. Yeah, it was a work week and so we put our camera down, but we did take out our phone every once in a while to snap a photo of some very good memories that were had. We were able to hang out with a lot of loopers that had been here, and right now I think there's 15 boats in this marina and the marina next to us. So we've all been hunkered down. The weather has been awful, just not a lot of good weather windows. We've had one that we could have taken in retrospect, um, but today is the next day and it is Labor Day and we are starting Lake Michigan. Definitely nervous. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, let's get off the dock and we'll tell you while we're leaving at O Dark 30. Yeah. Oh, it's like 5 a.m. We're on our way. It's like 5 a.m. right now. The reason why we are leaving so early today is that today is Labor Day and what they do for Labor Day here in Mackinac City is they close the Mackinac City Bridge, the iconic bridge that we'll be going through in, I don't know, 10 minutes. They close it for, for no vehicular traffic so it's a, there's a bridge walk until I think 10 a.m. is what the cutoff is for halfway so I think it's back to vehicle traffic around 1 or 2 p.m. But the Coast Guard is um, setting up a security zone which means we're not allowed to go through from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., which is why we're leaving at 5 a.m. It's 5.08. We should have no problem getting underneath the bridge in time. I can already see flashing sirens off in the distance. I'm not sure if that's the, the St. Ignace Shoreline Police or if that's Coast Guard, so we're off and um, underway. Hey, good girl. Good morning. Good morning. I cannot believe that. Alegria, another looper, just basically the security on 16 said the northern lights are just to starboard. What do you think? That was incredible. That is cool. And the, the crazy part is, is that two of our very, very, very good friends are in Canada right now in the Arctic Circle. 
via van, not by boat. And they are seeing the northern lights. And we are seeing the northern lights. How wild. Wow. This is so cool. There's no way they're gonna come up on camera, but no, you did no. your best. Yeah, we did our best. We're moving, wow. it's hard to see it. Yeah. <laughs> After the bridge, it is very, very dark because there is a, a dark sky park, which what I believe is that people go there specifically for the dark sky to take video, take photos, um, to, to soak in like the, the absence of light. And it's actually really, really cool. So it is, <laughs> it's really cool from a land perspective. It's a little, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's worth it, Northern Lights, but also a little nerve, nerve wracking for a boater to be out here. It's eight minutes before sunrise, and um, the cruise really hasn't been that great. It hasn't been bad, but the winds were supposed to be out of the east today, uh, and then shifting to the northeast, and we've been using the NOAA forecast a lot, and then also windy and predict winds. But we've just had north winds, and so we're traveling west, so it's just all on the beam. It is what it is. We're gonna be taking a very hard turn to port, though, going to Charlevoix today, and so, if the winds stay out of the north, that would be great because then we're going to have following seas for that section, which is a little bit longer than this section. So, either way, I think it's going to work out. Even if we do have BMC is going to Charlevoix, it's, you know, we can find some protection. It's either out of the north or it's out of the east. And out of the north, it's following. Out of the east, we have land protection. So, it's one of the reasons why we chose today as our go day, even though winds are 10 to 15 knots. Good girl. Are you a good girl? You yes. want a dental stick? Yes. Well, I hope you guys have a, a good, safe rest of your cruise uh, in the following week. And thanks for saying hi. Thanks for saying hi, Larry, from Island Time. Just, we have the, the boating community and the looping community is just fantastic. So thank you for saying hi. are traveling today. The way that we can tell is by the Nebo app. So we are right here on the Nebo app, but you can tell by our symbol and we have the little moving sign and we it also tracks our direction. Doghouse passed us this morning. They got out like maybe 15 minutes earlier than we did. We said good morning to Doghouse, but we can see so many other boats. And when I scroll all the way down, um, zooming in, zooming out, I just see so many other boats cruising south and they're all loopers. And the way that you can tell a looper from just another user of Nebo is that the loopers have the looper symbol, like the looper flag is in a circle instead of it just being a white dot or a little like boat symbol. So yeah, there's just so many people out and about. I mean, yeah, it just, I, I zoom in and it's like looper, looper, looper. Zoom in again. Looper, 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 looper. There's probably, I'm not even joking, like 100 loopers out. It's a good day on Lake Michigan, at least a good morning. Especially um, for the east side. Especially from the east side, so probably on the Wisconsin side of the lake. There's not much movement. We 
We are so close to Charlevoix. We can taste it. One hour left, and um, it'll be like a little over a seven hour cruise today. But we're arriving around noon, and we're trying to make the bridge opening, which I forgot there was a bridge here, but it opens on the half hour. And Labor Day in Michigan is the day of bridge walks. So the Mackinac Bridge is closed from 6 to 2, I think. And then there's a bridge in Charlevoix that I think they're doing a walk at 1 p.m. So we would like to be through by that and hopefully join. Five till, and we are approaching Charlevoix, our first destination in Lake Michigan. Second, third destination in Michigan. First on Lake Michigan. Yay! Copy that, Charlie 34, um, Stern and Starboard Tide. Um, sounds good, thank you very much. We'll be in in just a minute. All right. Here's the marina. Yeah. This is our backup plan, was to anchor here. There is a boat anchored there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not a bad anchorage, it looks like. Um, it's just deep, it's like 35 feet. Um, so you're gonna need like 150 feet of chain for five to one, you know? Uh, we've anchored in worse. And there's also the Charlevoix Lake, which is a little bit further, and so you can anchor there too. Tons of options, and um, we figured it's better to be flexible here on Lake Michigan, and there's been always availability, and Charlevoix, check, they had a spot for us, so. We are not the biggest boat, um, so that, that does help our case, so. Let's prep the boat. Yes. Good job, high five, high five. Yeah. I am so relieved. 
now that we are at the dock here in Charlevoix. It's been like all of last week, we was like going from winds out of the, there's a lot of winds out of the south. There was 12 foot waves, literally forecasted 12 foot waves, which means that some are bigger. Unreal. Not just like in the middle of the lake, no, where we came through today. You know, it's actually kind of interesting because right now in YouTube, we have just released videos about our Atlantic crossing. And a lot of people have warned us, well, wait till you get to the Great Lakes or stuff like that. And um, we've been in the Great Lakes for a while now, but Lake Michigan is a separate beast because because we hear the weather can be very fickle. Put over here. Now we're gonna take some time, explore Charlevoix while we're here because our main goal for Michigan is to get down to Chicago safely. Our second goal is seeing amazing things that we can in the places that we go to. And we've heard so many good things about Charlevoix that we're just happy to be here to be able to explore. As we are getting ready to go out, I am making a bit of a sandwich because I have not eaten anything today. And it is almost one. Been up since about 4 a.m. I was a little nervous. Had a, like five sips of tea and that was it. Had some Gatorade when we came in because I figured electrolytes, maybe that'll help. But I'm making a peanut butter and Vegemite sandwich. Heavy on the peanut butter, light on the Vegemite. Should be good though. Did you have a good cruise, Ollie? Yes. This is the little but mighty bridge walk in Charlevoix, Michigan. Charlevoix is beautiful! And so the mighty is the Mighty Mac, which is where we came from today. And this is the little but mighty. <laughs> Just starting in a couple minutes. walk lasted a maximum of like five minutes of walking maximum that's being very generous and there's about a five minute little speech ahead of time so the whole bridge walk took ten minutes <laughs> works well with our schedule <laughs> that was awesome just being here in Charlevoix for like ten minutes there's a lot of pride here people love the area and I guess love to be from here which is really cool to see and travel and visit Ollie what is that are those fish? Those are trout. Yeah. Are those like fish endangered by the... Yeah, I think so. Well, we headed back to the boat after the walk. Jen's taking a nap, so I'm whispering. Um, we're also doing dock ready stuff. I'm cleaning up. And I just set up the Starlink. Our first place other than Max City. 82 megabobs download. That's just incredible. So, so far, two for two places um, where it's working great. Uh, we just have it set up in the dinghy, so it's good. Well, that nap was fantastic. Now let's go grab a bite to eat, refuel, and check out Charlevoix. Yeah. We are starting off with two beers to celebrate us getting into Lake Michigan for the very first time. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we do need to do a whole night. 
We went super basic we'll today, later, but <laughs> when the basic burger looks good, you get it. This is their like local, locally made Southwest black bean burger. I got it with pepper jack cheese, and Jen got it with blue cheese. But we we're like thinking back. Like, when's the last time we ate out? And I don't know. I think it was the Trent Severn. It's been a long time. So let's dig in. Mm. There's so many different ways to make a black bean burger, but you can kind of tell whenever it's made locally or not. That's a good burger. That was good. Just what the body needed. Now we're gonna go pick up the pepperoni because we didn't think we'd be sitting outside. And we're gonna go for a walk because Charlevoix has some amazing architecture here. Holly, you want to go for a walk? Oh my word. Hi. You want to come with us now? Want to go explore Charlevoix? Yeah? Urban design in action. The rain garden. We just walked past our first mushroom house. And these mushroom houses are, there's several of them in Charlevoix that we hope to pass by soon. And they were designed by architect Earl Young. But his goal was to make a small stone house that was arguably just as beautiful as large castles using the local stones in the area. And Earl Young helped um, make Charlevoix what it is today. Um, and it's just one of the kind of attractions to see here in town. What amazes me is just how unique this style is. It's really lovely to see areas where it's not just cookie cutter. These are one of a kinds. walked all around town and we saw Charlevoix the beautiful but we are on the hunt for ice cream and we finally found some at Murdoch's Fudge so Elliot is inside picking out his flavor and then we will switch and I will go and order for us all right Elliot's vanilla cone and I got some cherry oh it looks so good wow. oh, oh, oh. there you go oh. mm. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's nice big chunks of cherries in here. Mm. We are in the boater's lounge here at the marina at Charlevoix and one of their helicopter shot of Charlevoix shows this great big lake that's behind Charlevoix. So we're right here, <laughs> probably a little tiny speck so we came in, so we came, this is north, this way. We came down here, came through the breakwaters, past the bridge, and turned right so that there's a little marina right here. And this is Pine River, this is Round Lake, and this is Lake Charlevoix. Yeah. It's pretty great, eh? Lake Charlevoix is huge, and you wouldn't think so. You wouldn't think that there was this lake right next to Lake Michigan, but it's massive and it's really cool to see this perspective. I think this is probably the nicest boater's lounge we've ever been in on the loop. 
Granted, we do not go to a lot of marinas. So our amount of photos lounges is very minimal, but it's nice. Come. Good girl. That was really fun exploring Charlevoix. We can understand why so many people recommended it. It was such a cute and beautiful town. And there's so much more that we we're unable to see. So I guess we'll just have to come back. Now it's time to get down to business. We did a major provisioning run prior to going into Canada with the goal of using as much food as we would gotten during that provisioning. And we, ha and we did that successfully because now we are very, very empty. Our freezer, which we normally fill to capacity, is about half. A lot of our pantry storage items under our salon are empty or they're half full. Um, and our fridge is basically empty. So it's time to go grocery shopping. Now that's a lot of food. We could have easily done an Amazon order if we were here for longer, which it would have been nice to have been here for longer, but we're not. This will get us through for the next probably week and a half, so that'll be good. We thoroughly enjoyed our time here in Charlevoix. There's a lot more to this lovely city that we just didn't have time to do. We have more good weather days, which means they are more cruising days. This is, we're getting into mid-September. You know, the, the, there aren't that many good cruising days left. And what we've heard from so many locals is that Lake Michigan can be very fickle. And, you know, if it's a good day, we should use it. Hopefully we'll get to some place where we still have time to explore tomorrow, but we have a few options tomorrow. Maybe anchoring, maybe checking out Leland. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and we hope you join us tomorrow on our journey around America's Great Loop. Um.